647 now, a Baltimore artist turns old clothes into huggable art. And today's Coffee with see the unique handmade creations. Work of art you can hold and hug. Baltimore native Jennifer Strunge uses recycled materials to create these one of a kind cotton monsters. Cotton Monster began in about 2005. Um, I had just graduated from the Maryland Institute College of Art, uh, where I had been making quilts and large puppets and soft sculptures using recycled materials. And I kind of evolved that into uh, the Cotton Monster business, scaling things down, making smaller creatures. I think they're great for adults and children who are gentle with their toys. Um, but they are really unique, one of a kind, uh, handmade creations. So every eyeball is hand or stitched on the machine and hand set in. I can show you an example of a little one here. Um, some of them have pocket mouths that you can hide things in. Um, but yeah, they really, I consider them uh, works of art. I use um, recycled clothing mostly. Um, I go to thrift stores, I feel it, I touch it, I uh, look for bright colors, and then I bring it home, clean it, and then use those materials to inspire me to create uh, each monster. Each monster is one of a kind, and because it's made from recycled clothing, I uh, can only make so many from a certain sweatshirt, let's say. So really when one monster sells, that monster may never be made again exactly the same. Um, so they really are uh, truly, truly unique. Jennifer has sold her cotton monsters to customers in Singapore, New Zealand, and the UK, but says her Maryland fans are her biggest supporters. See more of her creations online at cottonmonster.com. We'll be right back.